Um, I have not heard from her at all. Last I know, last I knew she blocked me. So she has not reached out or checked in on me at all. The lash tech blocked you? Yes. If you have a message for her now, I mean, what would you tell her? I would just say, you know, be more mindful to the event. If my dog were to bit someone's eyelid off, I would 100% be checking on them every day and seeing how it's going. I mean, it's pretty heartless not to even care to ask how the person is doing. I kind of just don't want her doing lashes anymore. I mean, that would be like my one request. Like I, with the lawsuit thing, I don't even care about getting money from her. I don't need her money. I just want the bills paid because I'm tired of my parents having to pay so much in medical bills for me. I mean, over the last four years, I've probably been to the hospital over a hundred times and that adds up. So I don't want another huge financial burden on them. So I just want her to own up and take responsibility for it. Do you want the dog to be put down? See, that's where I'm super iffy about it because I'm a huge animal person. I have dogs myself and I love them to death. And if anything were to happen to them, I would be heartbroken. And I have cats too. So I never like to see an animal in pain, but you also have to think about this could happen to someone else. I mean, what if it were a child? I would never want another person to go through what I've gone through. So there's a lot of different sides to it. And last I heard the dog was in quarantine for 14 days, I think to just to make sure it doesn't have rabies or any diseases and as well as to see if it will attack another dog or another person. So it's just iffy. I mean, no one has asked me if I want it put down, like no authorities or anyone like that has asked me. So I don't know if I even like really have a say in it.